Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Ruslan G and I'm gonna be your host today and every single day if you follow along. So if this is your first time to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it really helps out. And in today's episode, we're gonna be talking about Workhorse, which is a trending company on all platforms, pretty much from Reddit to Seeking Alpha to Robinhood. And I'm gonna tell you what my opinion is. And if you haven't heard of it, I'm also gonna tell you what they do and why they're trending. I don't wanna waste your time. So I'm gonna tell you that I think that they will make their investors a lot, a lot of money over the next five, 10, 15 years. And again, this is not investment advice, but I wanna talk about the facts and exactly what makes them so special in today's market. So without further ado, let's dive into Workhorse. So what Workhorse is good at is they currently make delivery and utility vehicles, and they are very good at also making delivery trucks and vans, which if you look at their website, which I highly recommend you do, I believe it's just workhorse.com, and you can actually look them up by looking at Workhorse or ticker symbol WKHS. If you're interested in their stock, always do your own research. This is not investment advice, but that's not all they do. A product that they have that's really interesting is what's called the Horse fly and you can look into that as well and what that is is essentially a huge drone that will deliver packages just like amazon usps ups fedex but instead of delivering it by person they're actually going to be delivering it by these drones and this is where the delivery infrastructure comes in really really well what they're able to do is they're able to park these trucks in a very busy area obviously not by an airport or anything like that but the drones don't go that high anyway so what they want to do is they want to park these trucks in a suburban or urban area and what they'll do is they'll have the drone land inside and either a person or a robot will hand the package over to the drone it will fly directly from the truck all the way to the customer's home, drop it off, whether on your porch or by the mailbox or in your backyard, just somewhere where it's safe, and it'll come back to the truck and onto the next package. So that's what makes it really, really interesting. And for businesses like Amazon, USPS, FedEx, and all these other companies, this would play a huge role because currently it takes about $30 per hour to hand deliver packages. What this drone promises, because there's no person behind the wheel, right? Uh, maybe in the truck itself, but overall there's nobody working but the drone. It could cost as little as $3 per hour for this drone to go out and hand deliver packages. That is insane for the delivery business. And for companies like DoorDash, Uber Eats, Postmates, I mean, even Starbucks, Jimmy John's, all these companies, now they have the, their own delivery systems. And if that was the case where Workhorse could come in and they can promise a good delivery experience for these products and food is being delivered thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of times per day. That's so many sandwiches. All over the nation and all over the world. So if that's the case where Workhorse can come in and even take a small market share of that and help these middlemen deliver these products that people need, it's going to be huge for Workhorse. Huge. And that's the reason why I think that they're gonna do really, really well. And so currently, they're not fully autonomous, like I mentioned before. A lot of the work has to be done from inside the truck where the person has to actually put the package on the drone. But over time, they can actually go fully autonomous. Just like Tesla wants to take their cars on the road and have them drive themselves, this drone could be programmed to do that same thing down the road, right? And one of the reasons why this company is trending is they just got a $70 million contract from a single institutional investor, which is really, really big because they actually don't have a lot of revenue coming in. And they also are trending because they just got a strategic partnership with a company called Hitachi for their production and manufacturing of vans, utility and delivery vehicles. And we'll see how that goes because this is brand new news that just emerged from the workhorse media department. And the last reason why I think this company is gonna do really, really well, besides the fact that they're trending and they're doing really well on the media side is because if you want to make a company like this, you need to have a very, very foolproof product that is different from the competition and is very, very innovative, which they hit every single marker. And now they're even starting deliveries on their C series vans. Now they only plan to do about 200 or 300 this year. So it's not a lot of vans that are gonna be delivered, but if they can even just prove that proof of concepts, right? They can just say to investors, look, not only can we make these cars and these vans, we also have something very innovative like a drone project, which would help companies like Amazon, Walmart, Costco, and a whole array of other companies deliver their products and goods that you wouldn't have to pay employees for 
This is gonna save companies millions and in some cases even billions of dollars. And who's gonna benefit from that? Both Workhorse and the investors of Workhorse. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. It did take some time to put all this together. So if you gained any value from the content today, please go down below, smash the like button, and let me know what other companies you'd like me to do a video on, or if there's any other videos you'd like to see in the future. I'm more than happy to answer any comments, questions, and other inquiries. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day and stay healthy, wealthy, and happy. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.